the object I wanted to share as a toy. And that sounds kind of obvious, but it had to be something that was important to me, a piece of plastic that was important. And I couldn't think of anything that was, that was more significant than, than this toy. Um, um, and, and here he is, one of, one I must say, of several um, toy cowboys that I loved as a kid. The name, I haven't said the name, the name is, the name is like the big thing for me. They're called Swapits. They weren't just toy cowboys, they were Swapits. The thing about them is, the big idea is in the name, Swapits. That's the big, that was the big idea. And um, very simply, they come apart. So if you happen to have three or four of the same figure, you, make, you mix it all up and, you, and, you end, and they all look different. You can cut this guy off at the waist, stick him in a, you know, there he is, there he is. Terrifying, he's sinking into something, into a, a furry world, you know, that's great. You, that's, that's, I think there were more options, you know, that, that in, in the way they were sculpted, the, the poses they were put in, um, and this flexibility gave me more options for storytelling. Um, I, would, I, I just always found that simpler models were sort of... Um, they, they, told you too, they told you too much, they were, they were, they were too specific, they weren't, they weren't flexible. They, they wanted to dictate the story, whereas I wanted to dictate the story. And maybe that's why the swapping around of heads, the swapping around of characters. So you weren't just using, you weren't just using what had been given you off the shelf. I mean, you weren't really, but you didn't think you were because you, because you could, you could, as they say, customize it, you know. The fact that I'm so critical about, about uh, the models that replaced them, the fact that I loved the sets so much, all of that, is exactly what, what we love to recreate in the studio now, you know, a world of beautiful miniatures and beautiful sets. That's why I care about how well these are done. You know, that, well, that's why that's important to me, because it's... I care about it being, I care about it being beautiful, I care about it working in close-up. Um, and th the same thing with um, the movie making as well. So, yes. I do think it's a, very, it's a very strong, clear thread that runs through my life. Yeah. I don't care about plastic, but I care about this, and it is plastic. Yes, it's interesting. Um, that's, I mean, that's, and, and this, of course, the great thing about this is it couldn't exist unless it was plastic. I do, I seriously think, I'm, I'm no expert, I'm no expert, but that's that's some sort of that's some sort of golden age of plastic toy making right there i think